Hello everyone, this is Dr. MK. I'm happy to meet you all after a few months gap. And before starting the video, I'd like to share an important thing with you all that our channel has crossed 1000 subscribers. And I would like to say a big thanks to you all for subscribing the channel and supporting our channel. And I also ask you to uh, share the videos with your friends and ask your friends to subscribe the channel. And I also try to post the video in a regular base intervals. And thank you once again. So in this video, we are going to discuss a new naming reaction that is Will Smear reaction. This reaction is otherwise known as Will Smear Huck reaction, which is otherwise called as Will Smear formulation reaction. So all the three names represent the same reaction only. The Will Smear reaction was reported in the year 1927 by Will Smear and Huck, which involves the reaction of arenes, which are generally electron rich in nature, to undergo formulation to produce the corresponding aldehydes. With this basic introduction, let me explain the reaction in detail with you all. As I said in the introduction, that is in Wilsmeyer reaction, the arene should be electron rich in nature. For that purpose, let us consider an electron donating group substituted benzene and it is reacting with the reactant DMF that is NN dimethyl formamide. So this NN dimethyl formamide is a formulating agent that is this aldehyde group is directly attached to the uh, arene ring okay with the help of a reagent known as phosphorus oxychloride that is POCl3 followed by quenching with water to produce the final product that is para substituted product and ortho substituted product. You know that this is an electron donating group. Whenever an electron donating group is attached to a benzene ring, it will be acting as ortho para director. So that is why we are getting para formulated product and ortho formulated product. If you check with the uh, amount of yield, this para product will be isolated as a major one and this ortho isomer will be isolated as a minor product because of the steric factor reasons okay so this is a general wilsmeyer reaction now let us discuss a specific case so let us take this compound this is nn dimethyl aniline And it is treated with the standard reaction condition that is DMF POCl3 followed by water quenching to provide the final product. This is 4 dimethyl amino benzaldehyde. We know this is an amine group and this will be acting as ortho para director. But it is not a simple amine group. This is a dialkyl substituted amine group. That means it is a bulky group. So the reaction at ortho position is less possible because of the steric reasons. So you are getting exclusively para product as a major one. And this is the reason for the reaction. Okay. Now let us discuss the mechanism of this reaction. So initially what will be happening is this nitrogen lone pair on DMF will be involving in conjugation as a result this oxygen atom will be gaining a minus charge okay so this oxygen minus charge will be attacking this phosphorus atom as a result of this this uh, pi electron between phosphorus and oxygen will be shifting towards the oxygen atom when this electron is coming back to this phosphorus atom this cl will be knocked off as cl minus leading to the formation of this intermediate species. You can see this Cl minus as counter ion is, is given here. Now the next step will be this Cl minus will be attacking this carbon atom. As a result, this pi electron will be moving towards nitrogen atom and this electron pair will be coming back to this carbon atom. This carbon and oxygen bond is getting broken and this electron is shifting towards oxygen atom and you can see this species is leaving and the intermediate that will be forming is this one and the name of this intermediate is chloroimenium ion otherwise known as Wilsmeyer reagent. So this is a key reagent that will be generated in situ during the course of the reaction and that will be causing the formulation step. Okay. So once this chloroimenium ion is formed it will be reactive with NN dimethyl amine that is aniline. As I said already this is a para directing group 
and this lone pair electron on nitrogen atom will be coming here this pi electron will be moving here and this pi electron will be attacking this carbon atom and this electron cloud will be shifting towards the nitrogen atom and leading to the formation of this intermediate now the next step will be the aromatization of this benzene ring so for that purpose this carbon hydrogen bond is getting broken and this electron is shifting towards this uh, carbon atom that is carbon carbon uh, single bond and this pi electron is shifting to uh, towards this uh, carbon carbon single bond and as a result this nitrogen is gaining its lone pair of electron and as a result of this you can see this uh, benzene ring is generated regenerated that is aromaticity is gained by the loss of the proton now you can see here this part there is a carbon atom in which a nitrogen atom is connected as well as a leaving group chlorine atom also is connected and we know that chlorine is a very good leaving group and nitrogen is having a lone pair of electron so next step will be this nitrogen lone pair is coming here and this Cl is leaving as Cl minus so you can see here this chloride will be knocked off and leading to the formation of this imine so next step will be the hydrolysis of the imine group so you can see here when this imine is reacting with water the lone pair electron on oxygen atom uh, is attacking here and this pi electrons will be moving towards nitrogen atom leading to the formation of this intermediate you can check here and uh, this oxygen atom of water molecule has donated a pair of electron as a result of this a positive charge is generated at this intermediate and this nitrogen is is becoming uh, I mean neutral so that this lone pair is regenerated okay the next step will be the protonation of the nitrogen atom so for that purpose this lone pair is is uh, taking this hydrogen atom and as a result this electron is moving towards oxygen atom leading to the formation of this intermediate now this oxygen becoming a neutral and uh, and you can see here it gains a pair of electron and a lone pair is regenerated you can check this part this part becomes a very good leaving group so what will be happening is this uh, oxygen hydrogen bond is getting broken and this electron cloud will be shifting towards the carbon atom as a result of this this uh, amine will be leaving and as a result of this you can uh, find out the formation of this para formulated product by the removal of dimethylamine and as well as a proton okay so this is a basic mechanism involving in wills mayer -Huck reaction okay now let us discuss some examples based on wills mayer reaction okay first let us take this uh, reaction and in which resorcinol is treated with uh, the standard condition that is dmf uh, pocl3 followed by water quenching and you can check here there are two oh group and this two oh groups are same in environment you can say they are symmetrical in nature and you can focus on any one of the oh groups and you know that this OH group is ortho para director and you can think of this uh, reaction can be taking place at this position at this position or at this position and you know that these two positions are symmetrical in nature and let us consider any one of the groups okay so uh, this position can be undergoing formulation or this position can be undergoing formulation so let us take uh, take that left part of this molecule that is this one okay so you can see here there are two OH group and if you are introducing a CHO means it will be causing steric hindrance so the reaction at this left position will be less possible and this uh, uh, reaction will be undergoing at this right hand side and leading to the formation of this formulated product okay so now let us take a next example in which a substituted coumarin system is treated with the standard conditions and you can see here these two uh, uh, rings are similar more or less similar to each other though the molecule is called as coumarin so you can see there are uh, I mean there is a benzene ring substituted benzene ring and these two are symmetrical more or less symmetrical in nature and the same concept is applied here so the reaction at this position is is uh, less possible and the reaction is at this position will be more facile and leading to the formation of the corresponding formulated product okay so now let us discuss the next example this is a two ethoxy naphthalene system so this is c1 position this is c2 position that is two ethoxy naphthalene system and it is treated with the dmf uh, followed by pocl3 and water quenching what would be the product and in naphthalene we know that c1 and c2 positions are reactive towards electrophilic substitution reaction and this this uh, wills mayer reaction basically an scar reaction that is electrophilic aromatic substitution reaction and among c1 and c2 uh, c1 is more reactive in terms of naphthalene 
uh, molecule is concerned okay so uh, already that c2 position is blocked so the reaction has to take place at uh, c1 position only so exclusively we will getting uh, will be getting that c1 formulated product okay so now let us discuss the, the reactivity in heterocyclic compound so you can see check here there are two molecules that are connected uh, each other by a single bond that is this this mighty is said to be pyridine and this mighty is said to be pyrrole and and as i said already in wills mayer reaction the ring which is electron rich will be undergoing formulation and if you check the uh, electron density of pyridine and pyrrole uh, pyrrole is more electron rich in comparison with pyridine so the reason is in pyrrole this nitrogen lone pair will be involving in conjugation as a result of this this uh, ring gains more electron density so that is why pyrrole ring will be undergoing formulation okay so what is the position will be undergoing formulation and you can see here this is 1 2 3 4 5 so you can see here that electron density will be maximum at c2 position or at c5 position both are symmetrical in this molecule so uh, the formulation will be taking place at c2 position and you can see here this c2 position this is 1 2 3 4 5 the second position is undergoing formulation okay so far we have discussed the introducing of aldehyde functional group now let us discuss the introducing of uh, keto functional group using the same wills mayer process so uh, if you want to introduce aldehyde group means you need to use dmf as a formal source suppose if you want to uh, use uh, i mean introduce keto group means you need to use the following reagent i mean our reactant system that is let us take this same nn dimethyl aniline system instead of dmf you need to use a reagent or reactant known as n phenyl benzamide this compound is called as n phenyl benzamide and if you use dmf this aldehyde group will be introduced and if you use uh, uh, n phenyl benzamide this keto group will be introduced and uh, we know that this uh, this in this uh, aniline system para product will be formed a predominant amount so in the para uh, position uh, the the keto group will be introduced okay so uh, by by changing that the corresponding amide system you will be introducing you will be able to introduce an aldehyde as well as a keto system so this is a better advantage of this wills mayer process okay now let us discuss a, a couple of CSER questions based on this wills mayer -Huck reaction okay the first question was asked in CSER december 2012 and indole is given this compound name is indole and it is treated with the dmf POCl3 followed by hydrolysis process and what would be the product and we must know the reactive center of indole and this nitrogen lone pair will be involving in conjugation as a result of this this pi electron will be moving towards this uh, carbon atom and as a result you will get this resonance form okay so uh, if, if you check this com mean molecule closer that this position is having high electron density and assume it is a pyrrole kind of system and in which this position only is getting higher electron density so that means this is first atom that is nitrogen this is two that is three that is c3 position is getting high electron density so this will be undergoing uh, formulation reaction okay so already we have a, a dmf pocl3 and uh, when they uh, react with this uh, uh, together it will be forming chloroaminium ion so that will be reacting with the third position of indole as a result that c3 position will be introduced by the aldehyde group and if you check with the option so you have only one option and that is this one so this is a straightforward question and uh, uh, without working out the mechanism directly you can find out the answer and this is a part b question that is a two mark question okay uh, that is another four mark question which is also asked in a csr that is csr june 2015 and in which instead of dmf they have given a cyclic amide and this cyclic amide is treated with pocl3 to form an intermediate a and this intermediate A further undergoes some kind of reaction to, to form a corresponding uh, another intermediate product B. 
and this intermediate product B is reacting with benzylamine to form the corresponding product. Our aim is to identify the intermediates A and B. This is a question. Okay. So this is not a typical Wilsmeyer formulation process. This is it is Wilsmeyer type reaction where the aldehyde group will not be introduced rather than that you will be getting some other kind of product. Let me explain the mechanism of this reaction. The first step will be the lone pair delocalization will be taking place from this nitrogen atom to C double bond O. As a result you will be getting this resonate form. So this will be getting O minus sorry. Once it is formed it will be reacting with POCl3. So this will be attacking here. So this electron will be moving here. When it is coming back here, this will be leaving as Cl minus. So here nitrogen, oxygen, phosphorus, double bond O, chlorine and chlorine. Okay. So since this nitrogen has donated a pair of electron, a positive charge is generated on this to, uh, I mean pyridine system. That is pyridinium ion will be formed. Okay. So uh, the counter anion will be Cl minus. And if you check with the option, you have only one option that is having this intermediate A. This is intermediate A. So if you check with the option, there is only one answer. I mean, uh, that is the correct one. And you can see that is option three is a correct one. So with this itself, the four mark question is solved. Okay. But our aim is to solve the question completely. So the next step would be the attacking of Cl minus. The Cl minus is attacking this uh, carbon atom and this pi electron will be moving towards a nitrogen atom. So you will get nitrogen and which is gaining its lone pair of electron at one end you have a chlorine atom at the same end you have oxygen phosphorus double bond o cl and cl the next step would be this nitrogen lone pair is coming here and this electron is shifting towards oxygen atom as a result this species is leaving you will get this intermediate. So the next step will be the removal of proton. So since nitrogen is carrying a positive charge, this electron is uh, cloud is shifting towards nitrogen atom. As a result, hydrogen is leaving as H plus and this will be protonated by this uh, uh, PO2Cl2. Okay. So let us assume in this way and lead into the formation of Two chloropyridine. The compound name is two chloropyridine. So this is an intermediate product B. So this is a question. Okay. Now let me explain the final step also. So in this case, a benzylamine is reacting with this two chloropyridine. So let us take this benzylamine. So this nitrogen lone pair is attacking here. This electron is shifting towards the nitrogen atom. So this pyridine nitrogen is getting minus charge. And you have here that is Cl, other side you have N, hydrogen, hydrogen and CH2 phenyl group. Okay. So since this nitrogen is donated a pair of electron, it gains a positive charge. So the next step would be this lone, this minus charge electron is coming here. The leaving group chlorine is knocked off. Simultaneously, uh, this hydrogen atom I mean this uh, one of the hydrogens of uh, which is connected to nitrogen is is getting removed so that is it is removed as H plus and you would be getting the final product that is pyridine system here you have nitrogen with hydrogen atom and you have CH2 and phenyl so this mechanism is almost similar to a reaction known as Chichibabin reaction uh, so that is why uh, I mean this reaction is so important and this is not typical as I said already this is not typical Wilsmeyer formulation reaction it is like Wilsmeyer type reaction okay so that's all so guys I hope this video is very much useful to you if you learned at least few things about Wilsmeyer reaction through this video I'll be very much happy and I'm glad to see your experience in the form of comments 
and you can uh, like the video if you find the video is very much useful you can also share with your friends and ask your friends to subscribe the channel and i will meet you all with more interesting topics until then take care bye